and welcome to yet another ship hunting video here at the game hub however this one is a little bit different this one is 28 locations that a viewer finds discord viewer find to so come join us and check out what they've got to offer now not every ship is going to be an s class but don't worry every ship can be upgraded for free these days when you change your settings to free purchases so no need to worry as always every ship will be located in the euclid galaxy so they're accessible to every single one of you now beacons will be placed down uh, as well as save points so they'll be easily findable now i also recommend that once you start this you turn off multiplayer just there's no hiccups as always, coordinates and portal address will be shown on every single ship. Credit for every single ship will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Let's go. Okay, ship number one submitted in by Coxaflopping69. This one is an S class. Um, now the color scheme is gray and red. Really nice color scheme. It has the uh, tank feet, dragon wings, the supercharged slots themselves. You can only see two in the middle, one on the right. But once taken to the space station, you can see two together on the right and two in the middle. Once in the air, you can appreciate that color scheme, gray and red, like I say. Really nice. I do wish it had the full size dragon wings. If it did, it probably would have made my collection. What do you think of this one? Nice find. Nice find. Next. Ship number two. Class A ship, this one. Submitted by Discord user Crin. Now, this one comes in a black and white color scheme. Lots going on in terms of side wings, prongs, mini wings. It has the surfboard style bottom, has the uh, split top, which does also split a bit further once in the air. Uh, supercharged slots, once you have upgraded it to West, you can see two on the right and two towards the middle. So not a bad layout. In the sky, you can see it fully spread out. You can see the top does spread slightly. Wings do dip. Uh, color scheme, like I say, black and white. Very nice, very simple. Do you like it? Moving on, next. Okay, ship number three. This one is a class A ship. This one was submitted by Millie Mill, Discord username. Now, this one is yellow, blue, and black. Very simple style, just a bug with dual layer of wings, the wings that do extend back. The supercharged slots are very spread out on this particular one have to upgrade it to west to see where the fourth is in flight can't expect a lot to change on this one as it is so simple wings just dip moving on next right ship number four this one is a class a submitted by game crasher this one is a very simple yet elegant black ship extended rear back wings it has the undercarriage uh, that does split slightly once in the air to give it a nice shape. Three supercharged slots grouped together on the right. The fourth will be over on the left if you upgrade it. In the air, nothing much changes other than, the, like I say, the bottom does kind of angle out. Very nice ship. Next. Okay, ship number five now. This one is a Class S ship submitted by Twix. Now the color of this one is red, black, and white. It does have the tank feet, not the full size dragon wings. Supercharged slot straight from the off. We can see all four, two on the right and two in the middle. In flight, you can see the color scheme shine bright. Um, the planet lighting always affects how some of these come out, but this one does look rather nice in the sky. Just need the full size wings for me. Next. Now, ship number six. This one is submitted by Orion. Class. A. Now this one is a very simple ship. This one is red and it's just a bug. Not a lot to see here really unless you like bugs. Now the supercharged slots as we can see is an A is two on the right and one in the middle. Upgrade to see the fourth. Now in flight all you're going to see change is the chicken feet rise. That is it. Let's move on next. Okay, ship number seven, another class A ship here. This one is submitted by Coxaflopping69. Now this one is a hauler style, but it does spread out once in the air to form the X-wing shape. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right and two in the middle once you've upgraded it to S. In the air, like I say, the parts that are balanced and even in shape do spread out forming the X-wing shape. Very nice if you like blue and black and haulers. What do you reckon? 
Moving on, next. Okay, ship number eight now. Now this one was submitted by Coxa Flopping. It is a class S ship here. Now the color on this one is black. It doesn't have any side wings. We're looking at just the bug, uh, the bottom skis and the top part as well. Now the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Once airborne, as you can see, the bottom part does just sort of dip and curve a bit and the top bit just raise and spread. That's all you're gonna get. Do you like this one? Let's move on, next. Okay, ship number nine, another class A ship. This one was submitted by Ouija Yukon. Now, this one comes in a color scheme of white. Now, we have the extended thrusters on the side, thanks to the pipes. We have just a single vent layer of wings that go all the way across. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see two in the middle, one on the right as an A class. Once you upgrade it, there's two in the middle, two on the right, so not a bad little layout. In the sky, you can see the full bright white color. It is a simple ship, yet still, it's got a very appealing look to it, especially with that front light. Do you like this one? Let's move on. Next. Okay, number 10. This one is also submitted by Yukon. Now, this one is a class A. Color scheme on this one is yellow, white, and black. Now, again, it's a very simple ship, uh, but it does have the dual layer of side wings with the prongs. When it comes to supercharged slots, they are very spread out. So you're gonna need to upgrade it to S to see where that fourth one is. Now in the sky, it all just dips and spreads a little bit. Looks very graceful. Let's move on, next. Okay, ship number 11. This one is another class A ship submitted by Orion. This color is red, black, and white. It's a very simple looking dragonfly, full size wings, tank feet as well, no extra side wings, so it's just the pure dragonfly look. Now the supercharged slots, you can see there are three grouped in the middle as an A class. If you upgrade it, the fourth one does appear over on the left. Once in the air, you can see the nice clean red, black, and white color scheme. It does look nice and tidy with the feet tucked up, full size wings. If you like these and you like red, I suggest checking this one out. What do you reckon? Let's move on, next. Okay, ship number 12 now. This one is another class A ship. This one was submitted by Orion. Color scheme on this one is blue and white. Very simple looking ship. It is the Thai style ship once you take it in the air. Supercharged slots as an A, you can only see two grouped over on the left, but once it's an S, you can see two on the left and two on the right. Airborne, you can see it takes its shape into the tie style. Prongs, uh, that extra prong on the wing as well. It all looks very nice and graceful. I like this one, I like this one. Next. Okay, ship number 13 now, another class A ship. This one was submitted by Kryn. Now the color scheme on this one comes in red, and blue. Again, very simple style ship, but it does have the X-Wing mini wings, if you like that style. Uh, it does spread out a little bit. Supercharged slots as an S, you can see two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Once airborne, you can't expect it to change much other than the wings dip. And like I say, the top and the bottom do kind of spread out a little bit, but that's all they really do. Let's move on, next. Okay, ship number 14 another class A ship here. This one was submitted by Game Crasher. Now, this one comes in just white, pure white. Uh, it looks very simple, very basic on the ground. Doesn't look like much, but you need to take it in the air. Supercharged slots, we can see two in the middle, one on the right, once upgraded, three in the middle. Very nice. Now, airborne, it forms the X-wing shape, but with the top being longer than the bottom, it does give it a kind of unique shape and being white, very nice. I like this one too. Next. Right, ship number 15 now. Another class A ship. This one was submitted by Siphinimus. I'm sure I got that name wrong, but Siphinimus. Apologies. Now, the class is A. The color, red and black. Very nice looking dragonfly here. Now, it does have the full size wings. Supercharged slots are all spread out as an A class. As an S-Class, I don't improve too much, but still, this is a very nice shape. Once airborne, you can see them bottom skirts split apart. Uh, it does look very nice. If you like red and black, this one may be an option for you. What do you reckon? Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 16. This one is submitted by Coxa Flopping 69. That's a few he submitted. This one is another Class A ship. 
color scheme on this one is just simply black. Uh, you can call the cab purple, the bug in the middle. Uh, it's got a very simple style with the dragonfly wings, but they're not full width. Uh, supercharged slots that all spread out, as you can see, kind of nothing really grouped there to put together. Uh, in the air, though, it looks very nice with the predominant front. But do you like the skinny wings? Either way, this is a very good find. I like it. Let's move on. Next. Right, ship number 17 now, another class A ship here. This one also submitted by Coxaflopping69. Color scheme on this one is a pale blue and black. So you've got the big wide front on the bug, uh, you've got the exhaust, you've got the vented wings and the very simple top. Uh, two together on the right, one in the middle, but when you upgrade to S, you get two in the middle, two on the right. They're very, very close together. Uh, once airborne, the top does split and drop just a little bit and the wings do dip down. Very simple, very simple, but again, appealing to the right person. Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 18. Now this one submitted by Crin again. This one comes in a color scheme of red and black. This one does have the fangs on the front. Um, it, fangs are always appealing to the right people if you appreciate them. Very simple style, but the prongs on the wing do give it a nice bit of depth, uh, as well as the tips. The supercharged slots once upgrades to where so you've got two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. So not a bad layout overall. In the air, the tips and the uh, prongs do set the wings off. The, the fangs at the front, very nice ship. If you do like this style and a very nice color scheme, Let's move on. Next. Ship number 19 now on the list. Another Class A. This one is submitted by Game Crasher. It's a dragonfly style with the four dragonfly wings and the underskirts. Uh, very simple wings, no extended thrusters. Um, it is, however, uh, a weird one with the supercharged slots because they're all very spread out. Even as an S-Class, they're all spread out across the middle row. Very balanced. Uh, in the air, it does look fantastic. Those side skirts split out. The wings dip down. Looks very dominant. Full size dragon wings. It is a very nice looking ship. If you can forgive the supercharged slots. Next. Okay, ship number 20. Very, very simple bug. All the videos, including this one, have always got a simple ship. Uh, we've had a simple red one, and now we've got a very simple teal and white one on the skis supercharged slots we only went to an a there and we can see that it was two on the right one in the middle you need to upgrade to see the rest not a lot to show in the air it's a very simple ship do you like it next okay ship number 21 another class a ship this one submitted by game crusher another dragonfly style this one comes in blue and white again the full size dragon wings and tank feet now, once you look at the supercharged slots, you have three that are stacked nicely over on the right as an A, and then four stacked nicely as an S. Nice. In the air, it does look very nice once the tank feet tuck up, and it always makes a difference to me having the full-size dragon wings. Very elegant, this one. Do you like blue and white? Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 22 now. This one was submitted by Cox of Flopping 69 again. This one is a class A ship. The color scheme on this one is black and white. It does have the very nice six eyes at the front there. Dual layer of side wings with the extended boosters. Now supercharged slots, we can see one over on the right as an A and then two over on the left that are not next to each other, but they're close. In the air, once it all dips and the top spreads open, you can see the fangs there, but they're tucked away. It is a nice looking ship, this one. Do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number 23 now, another class uh, A ship. This one is also submitted by Game Crasher. Now it's a dragonfly style, uh, white bug body with the exhaust nozzle on the top. You have the full size dragon wings, uh, supercharged slots. So you can see two together on the right. And as an S class, when you upgrade it, you're also getting two together on the left. Now in the air, it looks exactly where I expect it to look. A very simple, sleek dragonfly. The chicken legs all tuck up. Full size wings, again, finish it off. I like it. Next. Okay, number 24, another six eyed Sentinel ship here, Class A, submitted by Coxer Flopping 69. This one comes in the color scheme of yellow and black or purple. Six eyes, like I say at the front, three supercharged slots grouped over on the right as an A, four over on the right, not stacked on top, but very close. 
in a nice neat pile on the right. In the air, it does look very nice with them. Six eyes, very simple shape, but yellow and black make it work. I like it. Next. Okay, ship number 25, another class A ship. Again, this one is submitted by Game Crasher. The color scheme on this one is blue, uh, white, and black. Now it does have multiple tips on the wings, top and bottom, full size dragon wings, has the chicken legs with the circle light, supercharged slots once upgraded to the west. You can see the kind of spread out, so it's a very balanced look, but in the air, it does look very nice because again, those underskirts split apart, giving it some nice shape. Again, nice ship. Next. Okay, ship number 26 in the list now. This one is submitted also by Game Crasher. Now, the color scheme on this one is green. Now, we have a little bit of black on the wings there once it is folded up, but the wings are pure green once airborne. Uh, supercharged slots, so we can see there's an A-Class 2 on the right, 1 in the middle. You're going to need to upgrade to S to see that fourth one. As I say, once airborne, the wings flip over and they are pure green, so it's just the pure green body and the wings. Nice. Next. Okay, ship number 27. This one is a class S ship submitted by Game Crasher. This is a beautiful white dragonfly ship with the tank feet as well. Uh, it has the skinny dragonfly wings. Um, it has the light that I know is very popular there on the front. Even the nozzles uh, themselves are white. Supercharged slots, we can see they're free, are kind of all grouped towards the middle, but not next to each other. And once you get the fourth, it's over on the right. In the air, it does stand out because of that beautiful white color scheme. Everything tucks up. Uh, do you like the skinny dragonfly wings? If you do, this may be a great find for you. Now, something that's worth mentioning about this ship, when you arrive, there will be an NPC that's gonna fly off with your ship because someone's put a base down, which is really annoying. Now, if you're someone that doesn't wanna mess around trying to swap the ships with the NPC, just when you arrive, no matter if the ship's there or not, go to the base computer that's right near the ship report it you're not going to get the player in trouble all this does is remove the base for you poof like that gone then despite the fact the ship's gone ignore that go to your ship enter your ship exit your ship to prompt to save once you've done that reload that save upon reloading that save the ship will be back in place the same class ready for you to collect normally enjoy next okay ship number 28 now this one is a great looking ship submitted by Twix. I myself picked this up and it is in my collection. It's a gray, black and orange Sentinel ship with that big juicy fat light on the front. Very unique color scheme. I do like this one. The ship itself is not the best looking. The slots are not the greatest. Two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. But that color scheme for me said, put it in your collection. So I did. So Twix, amazing find. It's in my collection. Well done, mate. This is a beautiful ship. Right, so that is all 28 ships of today's Viewer Finds video. Now, if you want to get one of your ships featured in the next Viewer Find video, head to the Discord. Link will be down below in a pinned comment. Maybe your ship will be featured for the next Viewer Find video. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.